either way, they're just going right into it. Anyways, so we got Milk versus Venia. Um, these guys definitely play a lot of casuals together. Um, a lot of money is a lot of money goes around between these two. Yeah, uh, these guys are both like money match fiends. It's also it's also I, I believe no I I think I know for a fact that Venia is is up in the money matches, but, but Milk kind of does it anyways. It's like come on, I want to just. Oh well, yeah, like yeah. Milk, is, Milk has <laughs> been. I mean, you see, like he's been improving. He's already no, no, in he, winner's semis. He, he definitely like he like a, every match he plays, he plays it with the intent of learning, and that's why I respect Milk so much as a player. Man, I just realized this is like OG New York. In in winner's side of top eight, we have a Greninja, a Wario, yeah, a definitely. Yoshi, and a Pac-Man. And like and Warms like the, and the cockles of my heart. And like and like Milk's definitely been playing for like since 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 launch, so like it's really amazing to see him get get winner semis. I believe the last time he got top eight he got like seventh, so you know. He's already, you know, he's improved. Anyway. Yo, yo, I love the way Greninja, he's just like in news, he's just like Greninja. Every team, Jack, he's like, Ninja. I mean, he's a Pokemon. What it's else so is he supposed to say? I'll get you. Yeah. I will attack you. <laughs> Die. Die, monster. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I would have that response to Wario. Go, monster. You, you don't, don't belong, belong in this world. world. <laughs> Ninja. Ninja. We hit him from deep with the forward air. Let's go. Yeah, and Wario. So, yeah, Milk definitely in a bad spot, but he's already got a solid amount of damage onto Venia. And we've been this saying this is probably going to be like a half lapped kill soon if he lands it, right? Yeah, he would just need to land it. And, you know, he lands oh. it, so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> that was just a read. That was like no reason. <laughs> yo, yo, Milk is playing out of his damn mind today. Let's go, Milk. Yo, goddamn. And this guy has been improving. I, what was it? Like last week. He came up to Westchester, got drunk, and went like 2-2 two -two in bracket. <laughs> and all of a sudden, he's down here in the city. Uh, I don't know if there's, he's imbibed anything tonight. If he has, it's probably just tiger blood because he is tiger going blood. hard right now. Shout-outs to Charlie Sheen in 2000. Like, I'm not. Okay, okay, okay. You're allowed You're allowed to make that joke because, honestly, this bracket is like, is like, is like not in 2018. So you're actually mo probably allowed to make that joke. Yeah, I'm going to start dropping those no, old memes. Okay, okay. Now, 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 now you got to stop. <laughs> but <laughs> oh, I didn't tell you which old memes I was going to bring up. Well, it just depends. I'm not, I'm not trying. Oh, wait. <laughs> Wario kind of like. Oh, wow. This is like an even game again. This is super and even. And he's also going to get half up yeah, in like no. 30 seconds. I believe yeah, like so. by the end of minute three there. for sure. Yeah. And at this point. Oh, <laughs> let's go. Yo, let's go, Milk. I hope that he was heard ridiculous. That. Yo, he, yo, every time I play him, he does that. It never hits me. So I never knew what it did. So <laughs> literally just now. Hey, yo, look at that. He's like casually just strolling along and he's like, all right, man, I gotta go to the supermarket. Bro, you know what that oh is? shit, that's I just like, killed a damn like, dinosaur. That's a guy who like slowed down for the stop sign and then just veered past that. That shit was stop. crazy. Look at this. I've never he seen that so before. Slightly. I've never seen that before, bro. Oh, oh my god. Yo, he's, yo, he was heading to the supermarket, bro. Well, I, I remember that Venia just a little while ago was playing against he's the Jam. He lost that game yeah, one. Yeah, he lost that game one and it didn't really mean much because then because then Venia activated like his like his like advanced form or something. Yeah, so, yeah uh, battle there. bonds or battle whatever. Bonds. Stupid Greninja tech is out there right now. Um but the point is that already starting off a lot better and Milk has to just collect himself, understand it like yeah. I only have one game left, but it's not going to be a cakewalk. Venia just Really, uh, he just gains 20 levels whenever yeah, he Wario's walk is so great. I love it. I love Wario's walk. It's so good. But now, nah. right, right now, I gotta admit, Milk is definitely gonna put put in his ass. Uh, but you know, give him, give him. Oh wow, that was actually an amazing option. That was that. That answer was amazing. Oh. Okay, forward throw putting him off stage. This could be a huge play for Milk, possibly. All right. Venia is also just playing out of his mind right now. It's like it's like every time Venia loses game one, he just like turns on the switch and he's like, "All right, it's time. All right, now now it's time." He's like, he's like, he's like, "All right, I gotta take off the weights, dude." Okay, he's getting... playing. He's playing more fluid. Like, all right, <laughs> all right, all right, all right. You, you went... Venia, you gotta stop. Venia, you gotta stop. Okay, Venia, Milk. you gotta stop. Milk went out of his way to get hit by that up smash. He had to take a detour on he his way home. Literally, like 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 Venia was like, uh... "All right, you're." Oh. Yeah, that's no, this is... That's this, pretty unfortunate. That's like two really unfortunate things happening back yeah, to back. Landing into Venia's up smash and then missing that waft. Granted, that means that if he takes the stock through natural means, then uh, then by the time that like stock two he, is getting into it... Yeah, like, like, if, he does it like, if he does it like now, if he takes the stock now, then he, he would be in a very good position for next stock. Ooh. 
That's one thing you definitely gotta watch out for for Venia. In the, uh, well, like in Greninja in general, because that, it's a very good like a, it's a very good reversal option for him. Yo, he's oh, just, man. like skittling along. Wow. Scuttling Milk's along. movement is actually like I got no sleep. Please, his movement is not to be underestimated, man. Ninja, that could be big. No. Oh, he waft. Yeah, he had like quarter waft. And that also means that he lost all that. Waff charge. Yep. It's back nah, to. Nah, he's just, gotta go back. He's back to pooting inconsequentially, as he's already taken ninety percent. Even if he takes this stock right now, his comeback he's take factor. This. Right now, he's gonna take the stock. Um. So. Hmm. I I wanna oh. I wanna say that like he can still do it, but damn, it's gonna take a long time. Well, because because he also has to play on the clock too. It's not. It's always oh, dead anyways. But. If that match was to go longer, it would be more of Milk having, having to play on the clock. Well, then he is aggressive. He's yeah, he's never like. We wouldn't really have a timeout situation. Oh, However, no, no. Right there, uh, the thing is that, like, if he managed to do, like, 70% within a minute, then half waft would come Yeah, live. no, I, I was mainly talking about that. Like, you know, like, he would have to play to the clock as in, like, waiting for waft and then and going for the really hard punish or going for the really hard combo. Yeah, but one thing you'll notice is that Venny was actually playing pretty like, optimally. Like, yeah, he not, not, Sorry, not optimally, safely. That's yeah. the thing. Like, there were a couple times where he would get, like, a neutral and he'd just be like, raw up smash. I'm not going to go for any footstool stuff. I don't want to... He's making give, it clean. Uh, yeah, clean confirms. If, the thing is, like, if he messes up once against a character like Wario... Oh. He's going to die. But anyways, we got, we got game three. And we got KK Slider jamming out here. Milk getting the first hit, and he is trying to play defensive. But one little misspaced aerial means he eats oh, like 47%. Oh, like I, I thought that was the grab for a minute. Uh, he's going to try to do some bait. Yo, did Venny just shield for yep. like too long? Yep. I can't believe it. Man, he, 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 yo, he really wants this one, bro. Yo, okay. Wow, what the spacing on that. Oh, Milk getting hit by the up smash. Venny is definitely trying to call Milk out. On some crazy notions right now. That's crazy. Again with the bike. Whoa! <laughs> Yo! He was just like, excuse me, sir, I got a pass. Uh, oh, wow, was that, is. that like, just bad DI or something? Greninja's off smash is like, very, very strong. Like, he died pretty late, that's why I was like, oh, uh, okay. I, I think he DI'd that pretty well. I don't know if it was optimal, but that wasn't bad DI by any means. Try to oh, go for the set he no, 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 his, his up is really good. Uh, Milk oh. is definitely playing very questionable. Yeah, it's like the thing where he was so close to being in winners finals. He, he probably he's probably psyching himself out right now. If I, yeah. if I were to be real with you, I feel as though that's probably what's happening. All right, he seems to be slowing it down a little bit more. I'm liking the spacing, the movement. Ooh. He had the read on that robot. Oh, he's gonna go good. Enough. It's possibly a huge punish. He actually gets away with nothing. Oh wait, okay, yeah, they the fun bike. Oh. Right now, like, you notice the way that Benny is like mixing up his spacing? Yep. That forward smash, because he's throwing out all these moves that would fall just short, and then throws out that big move, and now oh, Milk has taken so much damage. He's using Greninja's best option, which is like mid-screen fair, and that, that shuts down a lot of characters, honestly, because like it's just oh. such a good footsie tool. Oh, he tried to go oh, for something crazy. If he takes the stock right here, goes for a forward air. Like, once again, he has the potential to make this run back, but... Oh! It's Ash definitely possible, I feel. Um, if he just takes the stock, and then... He begins. Here's the thing. Down tilt up smash, I think, is a factor again. I feel like at that percent, Rage might have messed up with that combo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And no, so I, I agree, I agree, I agree. And so now, Venia actually has, ironically enough, Ooh. more tools Ooh. at his disposal! <gasps> I thought we were going to see some okay, okay, stuff. He would have. No, no, no. He doesn't have Waft anymore. No, he doesn't have Waft because he used it earlier. So now he has to wait until around like 60%, I believe. In order he does to have kills. half Waft, I believe. But yeah. At this but he doesn't percent, have full Waft. He, he, he would want full Waft in this percent. Yeah. That might be it. Very good. for the air dodge. Okay. I, I love that 50-50 so much. It's so cool to look at. But. Damn. Yeah, that, was no. that was definitely like, like, like a nail biter set because... If 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 Venia gave Milk even a like like about like another thirty to twenty seconds, we would have had a real problem on our hands. Oh yeah, no, it we, 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 we would have had a real problem. Neutral. He got the neutral that if he had had Wafts, I'm pretty sure would have killed. Yeah, it would have killed because yeah, he had rage. If it wouldn't have killed there, it definitely would have killed. Spacing was so it good. It was so good. It would have like like he would have gotten to like twenty 
Or 25, and then I feel like he would have died from there. Most definitely. So. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Here, the oh. throwback of trend. ages. As wow, a, I still can't believe this is like a... Like, I, I, I'm not... I'm not, I'm not it, it, it's, it's not to discredit them. It's more like... This is a set that you would see like a few years ago. So yeah, it's, yeah. It's, but it's definitely not to like, it's definitely not to discredit them as players. Yeah. It's more of like, wow, this is definitely like very nostalgic for a lot of New York players. <laughs> oh yeah. Now if only numbers were here so that we could get the time out. Oh man, oh man. Yeah, well the thing is so, Sinji, he's definitely, it's not like he's been like, you know, playing badly lately. He's playing really good lately. Yeah, no, he's like, recently got- He's like number two in New York, right? Yeah, no, got PR. that really good spot on PR. Oof. Uh, the thing is that he hasn't been too, uh, you know, NYC locals lately that much. He's been very burnt out about the game. I know the last time he was here, I believe, he lost to, um, it was, uh, blinking out. Uh, Ooh. Roxas. He lost Roxas. to Roxas. Okay. And, and yeah, player, he yeah. definitely does not like the Bayo matchup. Definitely Overall, dislikes the Bayo matchup. Yeah. As, to be honest, a lot of players don't like it. Ooh. Um, Ooh. that was bullshit. But we're, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna not talk about that. Oh, and uh, the hydrants again. Raptor is hanging on by just a little bit. You know, we've been talking about Sinji for the for like this entire first part of the game, but oh, also man, we gotta talk about Raptor for a minute. Yeah, no, Raptor is top like, eight. Yeah, it's Yo, been a while since we've seen him here on the. I know he's been in top eight, but a while since I've seen him Yo, here on the he winner's side. And, and he looking mad clean too. With the, with the hat. Yeah. We saw like his little his little his little. Uh, his Sean, little Sean your shoes, Gavin. Now. <laughs> Sean your shoes. <laughs> extra, extra, you know about it. Made top eight. <laughs> Tune in to Shoestop.tv slash HL3K. This is still making me. Uh, it's so good. He, he, look, like, he definitely looks good with the hat on, though. It was like 30 years older. We can make stand and deliver jokes. And Wait, then, like, so are we talking Newsies the musical? So I was, so I was talking or to Stock Taker. Concept. So I was talking to Stock Taker because Stock Taker has like another hat on. Stock Taker looks like he's going fishing. Raptor <laughs> looks like he's going golfing. Raptor looks like he's going golfing. No, Raptor isn't golfing. He's competitive sports. Raptor nah, looks right. like baby Christian Bale from the Newsies movie from like the 90s. Yeah. Back to the match, though. That's what I'm saying. That was the time. Back to the time. match. To the that was the time to seize the day as Raptor has this lead. Oh, wow. Yeah, you got the lead. Wow. Yeah, no, he's been playing. Like, the thing is that both of these characters can't kill, but Raptor happened to get the kill when he couldn't before Sinji. Sinji finally getting the kill that he couldn't, so now we have an even game between these two. And we got Yoshi, as many would call him, chicken scratch on a piece of paper with mashy, but it's okay. I like a lot of people call him chicken scratch on a piece of paper, but it's okay. Ooh. <laughs> Whatever. And then we, oh, that's actually a big combo. Yoshi, when Yoshi gets an up tilt, prepare to see a lot of solid damage coming out. It's probably his best combo starter, or at least his most consistent. And so as it stands right now, Raptor has a big lead. Ooh, but Sinji is not to be slept on. Wow. <laughs> okay, then. Okay. Why, do you, why would okay. anybody, why would anybody DI in Yoshi run and uh, <laughs> okay. I, I don't even know if that was so a 50-50. Like, so like I feel that, like he could have jumped out. So like, oh, no, he, he actually, I think he tried to jump out. He could, maybe. maybe I feel like he could have done jump air dodge and he wouldn't have gotten hit. I don't know. I'm not 100% I feel like he trying. tried to jump out. At least it looked like he did. Possibly. Well, e either way, that was DI dependent. Raptor taking game one. He's actually one game away from being in winner's finals. That's crazy. And I will also say, it's in, it's interesting who is waiting in the other side of winner's finals, that being Venia. Venia. Because uh, I know that Sinji back in the day told me that the only matchup that was unwinnable for Pac-Man was Greninja. Remember, he, remember back in the day when... Like, like, it's just like, oh, sorry, sorry. like, it's just imagine, like, 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 milk versus Raptor for a winner's final. Wouldn't, wouldn't that be crazy? Oh, I saw yeah, that would, that would be like, crazy. I saw them playing, like, around two, like, a few weeks ago to see that deep in bracket. Well, milk is still alive in the loser side. I'm sure we'll see more from him. But anyways, but as it stands, ooh, lots of damage. Yo, sick combo. Oh, getting the tech chase, that was actually really awesome. Wow, optimal. look at all that damage you just yeah. put on him. That's crazy. Yeah, no, that was, like, getting the up tilt there was absolutely a brilliant option uh, because of just, you know, I said before, it's so good at racking up consistent mm -hmm. damage. And although Raptor still doesn't have the lead just quite yet, Sinji is, uh, 
it's starting to get at a percent where uh, Yoshi combos get even more dangerous around here, like forward air to up air. Like he has a lot of 50-50s that can rack up tons of damage. Ooh, wow. Oh, the egg actually, I think, Yo, both interrupting. Are so good right now. Oh, good. These guys certainly playing out of their minds. You see, tonight. like it's stuff like this is how you know it's like it's like a damn. It's 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 definitely a New York local. You got like Yoshi and Pac-Man in top eight. That's oh, crazy. Winner side of top. Winner side of top eight, mind you. Oh wait, I, what? <laughs> Captain extending did, the hurt box. Did Yoshi just like get fared by his own fair or something? Like yeah, he definitely like died. Oh, by the way, so I maybe I shouldn't be revealing trade secrets, but if you ever see a Yoshi like run off stage like that and you're afraid that you're gonna get trumped and so you buffer an option, uh, don't because Yoshi actually has no way to grab the ledge quickly because he doesn't oh. have an up B. Like in order to grab the ledge without like through his double jump, he needs to up B or he needs to down B. Mm -hmm. um, so what you're saying is Yoshi's ledge trump sucks. No, he can ledge trump. Well, actually, for some reason, his ledge trump is hard to do. But he can ledge trump. But I'm saying if he goes off stage yeah. and comes back on, yeah. uh, you like honestly, you're okay to just sit there because there's <laughs> nothing that he can really do about it while you're invincible. That's actually crazy. I didn't even think about it like that. So yeah, because, because he does he doesn't like auto snap. Nope. No, he doesn't auto snap. No he, auto -snap. He, he, he waits for like everything to kind of be run and done, and then he's like, okay, grab the Even Don B takes like the he has to go through the like, he has to go for the, the animation. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Anyway, as it stands, Raptor at this point in time needing to find some way Yo, to nice combo. Yo, Yo, Shinji combos, so great to look at. Anybody, he's got Akuma's Fireball, he's got the Apple. Yeah, you see right there, once yeah. again, he has to wait for and he has Shinji to, wait. to throw out an That's option. That's interesting, yeah. okay. I, I, now, Bell would kill. Uh, but Apple it's okay, kill. that's also gonna kill. Yeah, on eighty-six percent. But now, now I don't think he has to worry about anything because Yoshi is heavy, so there, there is no rage to worry about. Like there is no rage kill to worry about at this point. But I think if that bell would have been, then he would have had a hard time getting back on stage. I don't know what the strawberry does, but that's interesting. I've never really seen this. Uh, I think it's actually. just like number two. It's like, a, it's like option two. It's like slightly stronger than the cherry. Oh, okay. But it's like, yeah. I mean, it's not a lot of utility. Oh, Ooh, melon boy. in hand. I love that to cut off Sinji's yeah, escape Yeah, to, to, to cut off the jump, I like that a lot. I actually just caught that. So now so now he's going to try to get he's gonna try to get Bell into the... So now it would definitely be the time for Sinji to get... Ooh, okay. Okay. The thing is that the more damage that... Like, at this point, he's so safe. Oh, that grab. <laughs> Rest in peace. Uh, can we talk about how, like, Sinji's spacing around his hydrant is so good because not only does he anticipate like you know whatever move his opponent's gonna throw out he anticipates the exact <coughs> angle that his hydrant will get launched at so that he can just like keep charging his lab and he's been laminating everything out imagine if pac-man's a smash but they, they they give him like an actual grab like he just, just holds on to you and oh. just throws you oh my goodness and he's got key oh what? never mind he doesn't have key anymore don't know what happened there <laughs> if you pick up that key you can actually do some crazy stuff with you with yoshi uh with anyone oh nice 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 it's like you Z drop the key. <laughs> it's, up to, it's, it's crazy. It's crazy. Yeah, right now Raptor's mm -hmm. still living at 167. So now we got the apple. The yeah, the apple's definitely going to kill at this percent. It's one of those very Kuma's interesting fireball. things that you get to see. Sort Ooh. Of Ooh. Oh, oh, I like that. Oh, yo, yo, he, he went for it. Oh, the forward tilt not doing it just quite Almost, yet. Almost, actually. Wow. Yeah, but I feel like a back air from Shinji might do it. Oh, the apple the certainly will. Power shields back and forth right now. Hey, it's good. Uh, oh. Okay. Oh, he read that roll, but not able to get the punish. I think now, like, what? What? That's actually super unfortunate. That was sick. So that good. combo was sick. That was so good. That that was sick. I feel like he was already dead, but you know, why not put? We talk about how Yoshi's ass song. isn't strong enough to break the hydrant. <laughs> I'm just really surprised I, at that. I, I expected it to break. 
I, know. I expected it to like move. You know? I feel like because he landed squarely on top of it, but yeah. I know that his butt has a hitbox like right below it. Like you know, people can yeah, hit yeah, right yeah, below. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If shield breaks sometimes, so right? cool. like like, doesn't it? Doesn't he have like a little setup? It's like it's like a gimmicky setup. Of course, it's a like, shield break setup. Oh, that was such a good up air, but not enough hit stun to actually get anything off of it. Sinji right now, oof, has, has some momentum from that last game, but Raptor trying to retaliate with some uh, this this strong start. He has Galaxian in hand. This could be some big damage. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, so, and here we have Sinji in his natural habitat corner. It's very, it's very good because it's like I feel like Pac-Man is still snoring. They're naturally good in the corner, anyways. But then again, I feel, I feel like when he puts that hydrogen down, it's just like kind of creates a corner. So it's like because you, you do have to jump over it. You do have to like kind of get around it in order to be around him. So it's kind of like. But don't worry, we, we have we have one frame on block. It's up, it's super good. It's not only it's on block, but it's unanythingable. It's unanythingable. <laughs> Yo, he definitely like called him out. He was just like, nah. You're not doing that around. Uh yeah, a little bit too high for up smash to connect, so just goes for that neutral air. Raptor right now looking like he uh the, I mean these guys are back and forth. Sinji going up high in order to charge these projectiles, because I feel like, yeah, like what is Raptor really gonna do when he goes all the way up to the top of the screen like that? <laughs> He's uh wow Whoa. let's go any weights i believe that was true but Yo, that you know, raptor confident that Sinji was going to air dodge and so now he's one stock away from being in winner's finals it has been a hot second since i've seen raptor get I, that that's far. actually been a hot second since anyone's had to like say that it's like Rap raptor with that yeah yo i feel like yo the raptor we have now can definitely win the xena most definitely he's got the hat on he's giving him power he's giving him smarts And right now, Raptor's just playing really safe because he does not want to get hit by that bell into an up smash or a forward smash, which, whichever direction. You know, one thing about that is you saw early when he fought Jen, he basically just put himself on ledge every time he yep. did that. So, right to avoid now, the kill setups. He, well, you know, it's just in order to be safe. Like, Yoshi has to retreat. So that means that uh, I feel like Sinji hasn't been exploiting when Raptor puts himself off the stage quite so much. He's like, you know, kind of doing his own game of charging projectiles, not pushing stage control that much. And yeah, Raptor completely content to play this patient game. Yeah, this match definitely that. turned into like, it's, it's definitely turned into like a slow match, which is fine because honestly, Raptor does not want to die to like Bell or Apple or anything. And Sinji is like, well, I mean, this is my, this is my winner's tournament star. I'm not trying to. Sinji is one of those players where like he does not change his game plan that much. Even if the clock is going, even if he you know is kind of forced to approach, he still will like you know charge up his projectiles. Very very respectable as a player for him to be doing that honestly. Ooh. Uh, okay. <gasps> oh no air dodge. Very smart from Sinji. He's on the ledge right now. This game is slipping further and further away from him as he's already taken 103%. And as Pac-Man, like, how do you get the kill right <laughs> he now? He just, like, ran it. He was like, hey, I'm just going to throw the key at you. Damn, it just... He had, to, he, had to, he had the apple with the egg. It's crazy. He was like, oh, you know, I don't like this. Apple finally nice. hitting. That was such good. That was so good, like, knowing that the apple would bounce like that to cover the air dodge back. Oh, oh wow. Okay, then. That was that was the weight. It was the mix. -up. Okay then. <laughs> that was the weight you said. The weight. It was the it mix. Was the weight. Look like, at this. He's up there. He's, he's up there. Like, he's he's up like, there. man, I. It's like a shark waiting like, to pounce. I dare you to press a button on me. You didn't You're even dead, have to press a bro. button. It's like I dare you to let go of shield, dude. Happened again. Yeah, the same way. Hit him with the air dodge read. Yeah. Well, the, uh, like forward air was great in that matchup. I would not be so surprised. Forward air is good in almost every matchup, except for, like, Cloud. It's a good button, except Cloud. I wonder why it's not good against Cloud. Uh, I'm going to beat the crap out of it. Free $20 for me. Ooh. We got Milk. Wait. Oh, Milk versus Utopian, right? Who did yeah. Utopian lose to? Utopian in winners lost to, I believe it was... Lost to... Sinji. Okay. Sinji. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sinji, he's gotten so good at that matchup. I'll never forget that Sinji's the only person I've taken a set from the buzz here. <laughs> he, he is the lone wolf. 
I do wonder how this matchup goes, uh, Wario Rosa. I imagine it's like pretty annoying because at the end of the day you have that little thing there. Uh, excuse me, uh, have you known to kill Sage? Uh, actually took a set off with the buzz once. What? DTN. DTN? I'm talking about Zeno. Wait, he took a set off of him at DTN? Which yeah. one? Like the uh, last one, yeah. The last one he didn't take a set off. He took a game off. He took a set. No. I'm, I'm going to... Throw down money on this. I'm Damn, not, he's throwing down money. I'm not that. Uh, I'm not that confident. Jesus, hey. but it's okay. Luma's dead. I was commentating that set. I remember. Luma's dead. But we got, we got, we got, we got it. Oh no, he's dead. No, he's not. Well, he's metaphorically. Dead. He's a pretty, he's a pretty big boy. Oof. Damn, All right, so Half Waft is live now. I don't know if Half Waft will take the stock. I know that Luma is live. Well, actually, it's also uh, Luma being in the way, so I don't know. Actually, that's actually a good question. Would Luma well, interfere? With that is lot? that is one of the interesting things about this matchup is that Luma can really screw over I think over he just Rosa tried it. Sometimes. I, maybe? Because of, uh, oh, there it is. Nice, the up smash. But the thing is that Luma, if he wafts and like, connects on Luma, it extends the hurtbox. It hurt extends box. the hurtbox, right? Okay. With the hitbox, just like it would the bike, you know? So that means I think it... I, do you know if, like, extending her boxes compounds? So, like, Wait, what do you mean compounds? As in, like, if he hits why would you both. Why, why would you do that? I Can I? I need a... <laughs> I have milk. What? I have milk. I got to ask you. <laughs> All right. So, on the way home, when we eat empanadas, I'm going to ask you the question. Why did you just do that? And he's going to hit me with the... Man, I was trying to kill him earlier. And I was like, yeah, but, like... Yeah, kill him with that nice spot dodge. Yeah, I'm going to kill him with that nice spot dodge, bro. What, what was why that? Why would bro? Ray throw out a move before yeah, what you was did? That? What? It's like, what are you doing, bro? Ray, what do you think so are you gonna do? Jab you? Like, all right, cool, man. And not throw you? What? All right, we, we got a game two. Smash roll again. Yeah, and I, I do want to kind of mention the, the, the sort of the context of this year. Milk played so well today in order to secure himself a spot in this. I believe this is Lewis Yeah, he like beat Ralphie. He, he beat like he half wafted the hell out of Ralphie. Yeah, no, he's been playing amazingly. He even took Venia to game three. Yeah. Uh, and right now he's kind of getting thrashed around by Utopian as the problem. Oh, I like that, how he used the up tilt to kind of like hit Luma almost. Man, that is so rough. You can't even like ride the bike on Rosa. Oh, okay, okay. I will say, this is something I see a lot, where it's like, you know, a player who's sort of like finally having that breakout performance. They, they, kind, they kind of like, uh, they kind of like psych themselves out a bit. Once they get to losers. Yeah, they, like I, I I can definitely see that that, that that from what Milk was doing. He, he's definitely like psyched himself out right now. Yeah. He's playing so good. Like, like you just keep playing how you were playing. But it's okay. I mean, this, this is definitely the farthest he's gone at, at like a Xeno local. So, big ups to him. But... Big up Saray too, you know, even though he makes something like this early, but man. Right now, the way that I'm liking the use of the bike just to knock Luma out of here, but sometimes knocking her out isn't enough if it doesn't send nah, you that far. She's too floaty for that, it seems. I thought he DI'd that shit immaculately. Uh, I would not be surprised. Ray <laughs> he is, probably, he's, he's a pro Fortnite player, so I'm not surprised, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen this man hide in the bush for for a literal a whole game, yeah. a whole game, a whole game of Fortnite. Hide in the bush the whole game of Fortnite. You think and he, then win. You think he won't hide behind a Luma? I like how the bike hit Luma and Luma was like, ow, what? <laughs> Why that had to hit me just now, bro? Uh, bike should do more damage than it does. It's a good thing that Wii has like a kill thing. Well, yeah, it should actually do a lot more damage than it should. It should just roll. If you're, 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 you're going to follow through scientifically. Yo, hit Luma. There you go. Clap on him. Oh, good sell it back here. I will say though, he didn't have a jump. No, he, he not only did not have a jump, Bike was on stage. No, but he, he still could have upbeat back in the stage. He would not have made it though. Hey, what From there? Yeah. Oh, you mean jump and then. Yeah, jump and then. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, but he didn't jump have a jump. Jump and upbeat, I'm pretty sure he would have. Uh, but as it stands, Milk, despite being down by a whole lot at the beginning of this game, he's are. playing really clean right now. I gotta yeah. admit, he's like finally not sagging himself out. Yeah, I think he's, he's like, getting... He's like, oh wait, I'm in top eight. What am I doing? <laughs> gotta play a little more clean. Oh, what an air dodge, and that's a, some big damage from him. Oof. Ooh, big damage from Ray, though. Or, well, big multi-hit damage from Ray, let's say that. Man, these aggressive landings from Ray, it nice. seems like... Nice, You know, have you, ever, have, you, have you ever seen a star just break a motorcycle? It's a pretty good sight. Only in Russia. Only in Russia. <laughs> I remember that. Uh, good times. And now this is definitely not going to be a half off kill because once again, I feel like he's going to die out of it. I think so he might be saving it 
up for full waft. Yeah, because actually, of the fact that, that like, that if he's in the right smart. situation, Luma can actually be his his boon. Oh, there he goes. He got full waft. So let's see how he handles this. He might not even need it. Right now, he's playing well enough that, like, a, at this point, a forward throw from the ledge might do it. Ooh, I, I like the way. Oh, I don't any like power that at shields. all. That's now it. he's dead. That's it. Yeah. Why would you do that? Big ups to Mil gets fifth place this week. Oh, yeah. Resident and Wario player. Taking Venny into game three, and that was a super even game right there. I but do like the read he tried to make there. He tried, he tried to catch her with the roll, and then. Yeah, there are some times where like you just want to take the hit from Rosa. Like right there, I believe that the late up air that he would have hit him with, because he air dodged through the up air, right? Yeah. And I believe if he hit him with the the late up air, he, he wouldn't have died. died. Yeah. He wouldn't have died, but because he air dodged, he that was a frame spot. trap where he gets hit by the sweet spot. He actually scared him into air dodging. I mean, I'm not. I, I I got scared into air dodging. Yeah. You can't Nika be scared against Rosa. Again. Oh, he read the roll. But yeah, yeah, yeah. I was saying like he read it. the roll and then he ASE. see. Was that really a read? Yeah, I guess it was sort of like pseudo him on the reaction. Did it constitute a read? Well, like he I guess it was pseudo. It, it, was, it was a it was a fail read, but like he still no, no, he definitely he, read that he was gonna. Like, yeah, he, he definitely, jumped. Well, he back definitely then. was like, yo, he's gonna roll. But. His position was just all off there. Now we got dark. Again, yeah, I don't know how they're gonna do that <laughs> because to me, like I guess, did I just press that button? Okay, good. Thank you. All right, and we're both charging our projectiles here, and by projectiles I mean limit. <laughs> Imagine if Pac-Man had Limit, but it was like just like blue flutes that did like more damage. Imagine if every like, character like, in this like, game had Limit. Imagine if we just had a meter system in Smash. No. I hope they don't do that for Smash Please 5. don't do that. Like, I, that <laughs> like I would actually hate yeah. that. I'd be like, oh, great. Uh, yo, the strawberry? Yo, I'm definitely seeing this strawberry more today. I've never seen strawberry like used in neutral. No, it was a bait. Because right now, uh, <laughs> okay. Dark Blue's holding strawberry actually limits a ton of his options. Like, think about it. It limits his limit. Limits is limit. No, his limit is actually yeah, yeah. not limited by that. Oh, really? Because he can use neutral beam. That's while he's so silly, but I'm okay with that. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, he, uh, he, he can still use the beam moves. I'm silly. Yeah, what's your clock here? He can just do Z drop uh, aerials. That's yeah, all bro. he needs, according Z -drop to the air. But uh, I know that at one point, Sinji told me that he actually likes it when people grab onto his fruits and hold them. Because the fact that, like, people don't know how to use his fruits. They, like, seen him use his fruits, but then they hold the Galaxian, and they're like, how do I combo with this? And then how they do get I, How do I Galaga? I'm like, wait, is Galaxian from Galaga? Yes. Galaxian. Galaga. Those are two different words. But like, oh, my goodness. All right, whatever, bro. But it's definitely from Galaga. Okay. I believe you, and if you're wrong, I feel Well, cheated. like, it's an item from Pac-Man, but I believe. So I'm pretty sure the Galaxian is actually a totally different game series. It's Thank you! Are, really? Yeah. yeah. Okay, sure. well, okay. I, I know the Galaxian is in Pac-Man as, like, something that, that, that you're able to collect from, like, you know, walking, I don't know, whatever he does, pelling around. But I know Galaxian is the thing in Galaga. Galaxian is an arcade game developed by Namco. Yeah, that's Galaga! No, it's not. Oh, my God. Gal Galaga and Galaxic. They literally, Are you really gonna tell they me literally that have is a different starting name, right? Galaga versus Galaxian. Like, like they're the same game, dude. Isn't Galaxian like Japanese name for Galaga or something, or like the other way around? I don't know. This is so confusing. They play. They, they they're kind of the same game, bro. It's a, okay. So Galaga is a sequel to Galaxian. So you should really? be calling it Galaxy, not Galaxy. Well, Yo, is that, is that like a Street Fighter 2 thing where like nobody knows about the original? Yeah. Well, I guess like, except Shinji, because Shinji like loves Pac-Man, so it's like, it's probably like, man, did you know the Galaxy from Galaxy? Yeah. I own a Galaxy cabinet, original, from Japan. I love Shinji. He's, he's like the best. Speaking of loving Shinji, uh, <laughs> both these guys are pretty even right now. We have not been talking about this match for the entire well, time. Well, no, because we were too busy on, you know, the... No, that was important info talk. Yeah, that was pretty uh, important. So, in we the have end, to, we have I would know where still the say that from, I am right, because uh, they are two different games. All right, you want to be right, you want to be right. Go ahead and give me right. Well, we got the bell. The bell is from Pac-Man, because he has bell that he collects in the game. But, yeah, it stuns you in this game. For some reason. Makes sense. The gong, I guess. Yeah. I wish it had a gong sound. And we have, we have the red the red apple, which is Akuma's fireball from Street Fighter Third Strike. Um. <laughs> uh, anyway, let's get back to this game here. Like we, okay, okay. So, so Dark Blue's Dark now Blue's lost the stock. Yeah, he's down by quite a bit actually. He definitely has ways to, like, even this out. Cloud has the kill potential, but 
in general, Shinji is so evasive, just plays around it so well, especially when he has a stock lead like this, to the point where... And the upper is going to kill. Well, that's a commentator's Chris I've ever seen one. Just puff up a player, and then they just get up aired. This, this, is why, this is why I'm not saying much until he's actually dead. <laughs> this is why I'm not saying much until he's actually Salty dead. Salty Punch is giving me the dirtiest look I've ever seen him give anyone. <laughs> oh, man, we got Galaxian. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, right now, so that... Yo, oh, up tilt! Who combos? Yo, up tilt, beat, down. He tried to down it, right? Uh... I or did he just try to land? Because so. that sure, up tilt actually. definitely beat something. I wouldn't be surprised if that up tilt has like a surprisingly big hitbox. Kind of like reuse up tilt where it's like, like 18,000 18, characters above him. I wish he gets hit by an he's gonna die. Actually, yes. Oh, that's right. Dark Blues knows how to finish a touch. <laughs> yeah, like, every, like literally every other cloud. He knows how to finish oh. oh. Not like our other cloud. Uh, when's the last time you saw Ralphie land up there to finishing touch? <laughs> yeah. He's like, never in my life, bro. All right, well, now I believe the only... Let me think, da late down there to finishing touch, maybe? Wait, we got, oh, late down we got a, cross we got a minute left in this game. We've literally been talking about this Galaxian Galaga shit for like a four minutes at least. Yeah, <laughs> to the point where... Oh, oh my god, he lost that game. So bad. All right. Why is he going backwards when he hit it? Like, that was so weird. Cloud hitboxes, ladies and gentlemen. So the thing is, right now... A minute on the clock actually matters a lot. That was so smart. Yo, I'm, try I'm trying to see what I... Okay, he didn't do it. <laughs> I'm trying to see, like, like up you had a shield. Which is, like a, it's like, what, like, six frame thing? It's like seven. It's like five frames or something. So even if we don't see the 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 here, Sinji has to start getting more aggressive because he only has 40 seconds on the clock to make up this deficit. Throwing him off stage, maybe getting a really hard read with the bell or something. That might be the start to it. Oh, actually, if he needs, I don't think he oh, needs man. to kill him. He just needs to okay. hit him with, like, two more good hit hits. With the bell. Two more good hits, and Sinji will actually, I believe, have oh, a lead. Maybe 20 now. seconds left. This could be it. I already know him. if Dark Woods wins that timeline, he's going like, to make something like, yo, man, like, oh. like I've been no playing Tekken all this time, bro. Oh, that oh, was wow. huge. Dark Woods, please run. What are you doing? Yeah, no, no, no. It's, Sorry, Sinji Dark has Blues. to go in. Dark Woods, you got to run, bro. Come on, dude. You got it. Oh, no way. Oh, is he going to get him? Oh! Ah! Two <laughs> seconds of difference! <laughs> <laughs> yo, I definitely, I definitely know. I already know what Dark Blue's going to say. He's going to be like, yo, like, I've been playing Tekken, like, all this time, bro. I already know what time last are, dude. Like, <laughs> I'm fine, dude. Like, I already knew I was going to win, bro. That was crazy. And you see there, like, his run speed is so bad. He's, he, and he's, he's just, he just puts up, like, thumbs up. He's like, I, I, I knew that was going to happen. In reality, he probably like, did not know. That was two percent difference. Yeah, like he was. That was crazy. He, 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 was, he, was, yo, he was definitely scared shitless. If you if you if you take a, a deep look at Dark Blues, you can actually see him getting older as time goes on in the set. He definitely has aged a bit. I do have to his, say, uh, his sunglasses are a deeper shade of red. Yeah, he like he definitely looks like a lot older. It's not that or the camera has been adding ten years, not ten pounds. Ooh, okay. Some cute stuff going on back and forth. Well, as it stands right now, though, Sinji having uh, taken a little bit more damage, although he's going to be playing his general game plan regardless. Like, Sinji is going to start approaching until there's, like, 30 seconds on the clock. Like, Ab yes, that. absolutely. Yeah, this match moving at a slightly faster pace, mainly thanks to Dark Blue. I feel like he's I feel been like in yeah, Sinji's face for the most part. Yeah, I feel like Dark Blue is kind of kind of like gain a lot of momentum from that win. He's just like, well, time to mix. But he's getting mixed right now, so. It's actually been a while since I've seen Dark Blues in top A. Yeah, him too. I think the last time I saw him in top A was when he won the Xeno, but I could be completely wrong because honestly, like. Well, if that's the last time you saw, you saw him in top yeah, A, that's, that's a perfectly reasonable thing to say. I don't think that's the last time he's been in top A, but uh, yeah, let's not forget, this man has actually won a Xeno. He has won a Xeno. Uh, he was a cloud extraordinaire. That was like his first time in Grands, also. I think. Yeah, actually, and then he popped. He popped off. Uh, like, like you know, the Xeno Classic. You win this tournament for the first time. Go, you, you know, unless you're like Cassius. I don't think Cassius. He didn't. He didn't really pop off as like hard as Gen did or like. Well, Cassius was just like my money that I went from this. Yeah, he activated his persona, Bernie Madoff. <laughs> <laughs> Are you implying that when Cassius takes off his mask, he becomes a old white are man? Are you so like? All right, it's, it's, it's pretty obvious that when the tournament has numbers that are over 
that are about a little bit over 100 or 90. Cassius gets a lot stronger as a player. He just snatches that money. He snatches the money. Money snatch Cass. Everyone knows that. His persona comes out. Or his Stan, if you want to call it. <laughs> what? <laughs> anyway. Uh, Sinji. That was actually... Oh, that was so oh, good angling. Oh, okay. For some reason, I thought Sinji was going to just stay on the screen. He manages to make him burn limit, though, which is definitely a good thing to start, at least. And 128 got, got percent on his body. And now, at this point... Dark Blue is going to take his, he's going to try to get as much damage as he can on Sinji. He's not having it right now. Whoop. And that, yo, that was some weird animations. He hit him with like the, un, you know, like the untakeable thing in, into the hydrogen. So he was just spinning. What? That was so smart. That had to be like, that had to be the smartest use of Akuma's fireball. Oh my God. That was, he Man, like made Akuma a wishes he has yo, a trampoline. Akuma wishes he had a trampoline. <laughs> <laughs> Akuma <laughs> wishes he had a trampoline in this game. Okay, actually, I'm loving, I've never seen Sinji do that. With the up B, where he'll throw out one of these projectiles, especially the ones that stick He's around. Use the trampoline to make it, like, fly in the air like that? Yeah. Is that what you're talking about? Well, no, make, like, hit the opponent into it. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Because remember, trampoline is unblockable. It's yeah. unanything-able, as Seltphone likes to say it. That is how I like to say it. That's so much damage, and it's still going. It's oh so much damage! Oh, my God. Dark Blues, what Dark happened Blues to you? Is getting mixed. Then again, I'm pretty sure I'm like 20% up air will kill. I feel like he's going to combo into it with the bell. Never mind, the bell went away. Pac-Man's mad heavy. He needs to be at least 40% for it to kill. Yeah, he's a giant up air He's a giant touch. purple. He's no, I, I almost called Pac-Man purple. He's a giant yellow playing ball. If he lands the the bell, he can't actually kill. Okay, now the up air will kill. Okay, now he just needs like... Oh, and he's looking for it. Oh, he does. He's going into he, the he air with these late aerials. Yeah. <laughs> oh, never mind. Yeah, he's just... You know, he's throwing the, the <laughs> he's throwing the stick. You know, he's throwing he's throwing the stick. Let's go. He's hitting with he's hitting with with, with the uh, thwack button. Thwack. Oh Good my. Block. Good block. Oh look at look at all these projectiles and just Dark Blues can't escape. This is the Sinji that we know. You know, we might have been talking about how this was 2018 or sorry 2016 in terms of players. <laughs> Dark Blues got hit by that. But that he is like he was like wow, definitely blocked that. Uh, no, he was dashing, so he could I feel, I feel like I feel like Sinji gets younger every set he plays that, that goes to like timeout or like next near timeout. But the player, it's he's almost like he's like Shang Tsung. He's like he's like stealing your soul very slowly. Like like Dark Blues looks like he's like in his 30s right now, and Sinji looks like he's in his early 20s. He's like he's like 19 right now. Yeah, looking real good for a. Uh Pac-Man player today. <laughs> Most Pac-Man players, of course, are nine years old. You know, every, sure. every every Pac-Man player is like a Shang Tsung player, most definitely. Stealing your soul. I'm going to seem like an idiot for not knowing what Shang Tsung is from. Oh, Mortal Kombat. I assumed. Yeah. Because I, uh, I feel like uh, Mortal Kombat is the only fighting game where stealing your soul is like... Like a thing. Like a <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> I cannot imagine a character you know, smash Just imagine Mario just soul. like stealing the soul of Luigi and he's like, you're my brother. I'm, like, I'm, I'm player one and two. <laughs> I'm player three. Oh, look Man, at Man, we got this. the match going on. We have yeah. Sinji literally just throwing a bunch of hydrants, throwing his items. And so, I mean, Battlefield is definitely an interesting choice. Yeah, I, was I feel like part of that decision might have been, I don't want to speculate too much, but essentially those platforms might help him get around the projectiles, you know? <laughs> that Sinji was so careful with his projectile placement. But at, when, uh, from the first few seconds of this game, Sinji is able to have that same amount of accuracy, weaving his projectiles in between the platforms, which is nuts. I definitely should probably ask Dark Blues why Battlefield, because I, I just kind of feel like the stage would also be pretty pretty great for Pac-Man as well. Even though, the, like the Hydrant, yeah, you don't like the Hydrant can land on the, the platform and like your Pac-Man kind of loses out on something. But like at the same time, it's like he can still kind of play his game really well. Yeah. So I'm a little bit confused. I think that maybe a part of it is the fact that there's less space. Yeah. You know, Sinji can't quite run away as uh, horizontally. It, it definitely he, is a shorter stage. He well. can still take to the air, but you notice that Sinji, you know, he was doing that a ton against Raptor, not doing it so much against Dark Blues, and I can probably think of why. Why did I think the bell was going to hit? Okay, anyways. He's got bell again. Uh, the next bell setup's going to kill. Feel. Oh. <laughs> that dash tag nice is mount. so hard to punish. Let me try did to hit him nice with... Yeah, you hit him with a nice one. Oh my, this is so cute! That was so cute! I love, I love, I love, I love whenever Sinji does that. It's so great. Uh, 
It, it's, like, it's, like, it's like the one time you land Pac-Man's throw and you make it count. Like, I, I, lo I love moments like that. I mean, also, like, the opponent is conditioned so hard to shield with those percents. Yeah, because they're like, like, yo, Pac-Man's throw sucks. Yeah, like, like what is he going to do what if is he, he gonna throws do to throw me? me? Down throw into neutral air because he gets pushed by the hydrant at that exact timing? Nah, that's not going to happen. That's not going to happen. Nah, no, definitely not. Still has Galaxian. <laughs> Staying true to his game oh, with all the noises. That was actually Dark Blue is doing a really good job punishing the ledge cancel air dodge. Um, that's hard to do, especially if the opponent is like really tight on the uh, on their timing. That being Ooh. said, didn't take the stock. All oh, of a sudden, he almost, he almost he almost got him with this again. He doesn't have limit. He's gonna have even a harder time killing <laughs> right now. And this is a really this is a really really positive outlook match for Sinji right now. He's just kind of like, <gasps> yep. Uh, he seems to be getting so much mileage out of this water. He's like, I'm about to be in top four. Things are looking up right now for Sinji. I've been hearing this man complain a lot about DLC, but, you know, just because he's complaining doesn't mean he hasn't been trying to Don't figure it out. Don't mean he's not out. learning. Yeah, look at that. 100% not quite enough to take the game take the game yet. But why did the Hydrant go on? Again, this is another moment where the Hydrant went on the other direction. If I had to guess... In that situation, it's because the multi hits like they send you every which way. Oh, so it just kind of like and then it, it broke it in the one. middle. Yeah. Okay. I, I, yeah. Okay. Oh, All right. Since you're going way off stage right now, he's not worried at all. Oh, about okay. The clock. He's yeah. dead. Cloud's got range and limit. So. Oh, look at him. He's he's just like if I have to time you out, I will time you out. I'm gonna spend as much time up on this platform as I need to. So, so this bell with Cloud is definitely something to be very afraid of right now. I definitely am afraid of it right now. Because you never know what can happen. This is Cloud. This is Smashville. This is Battlefield. Yo, I am nuts today. Hey, unblockable. Yeah, and Sinji oh, <laughs> trapping him on the platform here. Yeah, that's the thing. is like that strawberry doesn't really do much if you grab it. Like, It's basically just like a it's slightly just like better. Kinda, it's just like, cool, I got hit. Anyways, back to neutral. <laughs> He's like, oh, great. You hit me with it. How many? I, I, I like this setup the most, even though he, like, he hit him with it. So that means he messed it up, even though, like. Sinji Bell in hand right now. Going into his face. <laughs> trying to be tricky. Oh, that's. He has limits, so that's, that's not going to kill him. Yo, wow. Kuma Fireball. Let's go. He's got, He's got the. the uh, I, so, quick question, Helper. What percent will up air kill? Uh, apparently starting at like 25%. What? With max rage, yeah. Oh, and Battlefield? Yeah. Oh my god, is this really going to happen? Oh okay, I, okay, if this happens, I'm going to feel really upset for, for Sinji. Like, this isn't even going to be like... Well, there's 38 seconds on the clock. He needs to hit him he once. He can do it. He All he needs is like one hit. It does help that, uh, I mean, it's staling his up air on the Hydrant. It helps for Dark Blues, right? Yes. It makes it so that he can actually get the uh, the connection a lot easier. Oh, but he needs to preserve limit. He does. He's taking so much damage, but that damage doesn't mean anything to him right now. Pac-Man Sinji's running. Yeah, his He's game dead. plan is actually to hit him with that little... Uh, that was that the melon? That was the melon, yes. That was the melon. Was the melon. I got it wrong, and it was actually an orange that he kept hitting him with. But then he finally hit him with the melon. I was like, oh, wait. I don't know my fruits. Well, I mean, it's, it's kind of hard. They're very pixelated. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, they're only in like. What's a fruit? Pixels. I don't yeah. eat those. Man, I definitely don't eat my fruits. Yeah, uh, I mean, died both times for being for going into initial dash. Yeah, I mean that's the thing is that you know he he's one of those clouds that very reliant on his movement, on his ability to go back and would, forth. But I dash as a commitment, that. especially against a character like uh, like Pac Man who can hit you with an sort of instant projectile. I I do believe you can roll out of initial dash though, right? Uh, no. no. You can't shield out of initial dash. You can you jump can't. out of initial dash. Can yeah, you, you spot dodge out of initial dash? No, you, you can't, can't shield, you so can't you can't shield do any instantly. shield options. Yeah, you can't shield instantly out of initial dash. Like, I think you have, like, a few comments. Oh, man. Oh. All right, so we got we got Aussie giving me back rubs. Okay, focus on the this match. Is, I'm kicking you off commentary. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Here we have Benia. Against Raptor. Oof. This matchup is very interesting. Both the characters are so mobile. So, 
Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay, uh, the really smart from Venia. You know, I was mentioning before how when Yoshi goes off stage, that's essentially just a bait. Uh, oh! oh no! Raptor was looking for that himself. Yo, 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 Venia is, is cheesing on the camera. He's like, yeah. The thing is, that's exactly what yeah, Raptor yeah, yeah. was looking for. Forward air to footstool is actually an amazing thing to do if you can land it. Uh, unfortunately, it's very, very hard, especially for Yoshi. It, it looked like Venia pressed jump before him. Oh boy. Venia, Venia definitely press jumped after him. It was crazy. Yeah. Well, really, yeah. well, in order for him to lose his jump, he would have had to have jumped first. Yeah. Okay. I don't know why. Every time I see the Yoshi about a fair, it's like, man, that's, that's about it. Okay, double jabs. Really smart there, actually com in intentionally missing the tech so that he could just slide off onto the ledge, avoiding any type of tech chase situation. Oh, nice dash attack. Raptor on the ledge once again, but he has been floating there for the entirety of this tournament. He's gotten so comfortable on the ledge. I feel like a ton of NYC guys. Yeah, he's just kind of living there. That. He's like definitely just living there this whole this whole top eight. But, we, but anyway, it's bringing, it brought him to winner's final, so I mean, you know. He's definitely Are you something kidding me? Right. Nice. I don't even, I don't know what Benny was looking for there, just crouching and then that's not going to kill him. Even though, like, it's looked like... Oh! <laughs> oh, that trait not going to work out for our, uh, our dino boy here. Excuse me? Excuse me. I got to see that again. He fell out. Oh, my God. That's so silly. Oh. Oh. Yeah, he definitely did not want that neutral uh, standing grab there. I, I think was he trying to counter? Maybe he just wasn't blocking. Maybe try to perp maybe try to perfect shield. Yeah, maybe that's probably what it was. that probably that's what it was. But anyways, we got game two back on Smashville again. As you know, a lot, a lot of these sets have just been played on Smashville. I, I don't I don't think like only a few sets have went Smashville game one and then switched stages after game two. But anyways. Yeah, right now it seems that well okay, so I don't want to speculate too hard about that last game because Raptor did lose uh basically died to a footstool during his own combo. Yeah. Which is uh his combo I, became his combo. Oh, really good mash from Benny. Oh, that mash was so good. He like he like tri dashed on stage. <laughs> yeah, uh, for fast fallers in particular, that like getting egg laid off stage actually stinks. Oh my god! Oh, please tell, that. please tell me you, you saw what he tried to do there. He did. Oh my god! Yo, he tried. He tried. He did down there on the balloon so you can try to hit him and kill him. Like. <laughs> Man, both these guys have played on Smashville so much. They know all of the little. Yo, this is like setups. this like smart play right here, most definitely. That was weird. And Venny is just like not. Nah. Uh, Venny is just, just playing to his strengths. He's like, nope, not trying to. He's just playing like you know, full screen jerkins, mid screen fair. As oh. per usual. Oh, and no tech. Jump. Yeah, no, that's the end for Raptor. He uses jump, yeah, yeah, yeah. It can be kind of hard to tech that move also. Uh, nice there, actually. That is not true, but managing to get a up smash off of the uh, star. Raptor looking like he's actually in not such a bad position. 130% onto Venia. There are plenty of ways for him to close out this stock. Of, like a landing forward air. Oh. Oh, oh, can't mash. Can't even do it fast okay, enough. He didn't do it fast enough, right? Yeah. No, we wow, that he was like mash. crazy. Okay, anyways. That's the thing. Like, fast fallers, they get, they just, because the rate at which you fall in the egg is relative to your fall speed. Yes. Which is, and also your air speed, too. Yes. So, uh, so, for instance, a character like Jigglypuff, whenever you egg lay her, she just goes. That's definitely some good man. A little Galaxian of herself. Anyway, stocks are now even, but. Raptor once again playing from behind, 97% here and off stage. Platform going to help him out, but he needs more than just a little bit of a single landing option in order to get back into this game. Oh, we try to hit him. We try to get him with the air dodge read for the up air. And right now, this is this is kind of really close into a. Oh no, and that's the set. <laughs> Venia has been like killing tons of people with that today. He's so good at conditioning air dodges, you know? Because, like, it's one of those things where I, I don't know what it is. I guess it's the speed. You see this frog leaping he, at you know, he's, the he's speed of sound. He's dipping it. He's moving around. Like, he's, going, he's absolutely crazy with it. He's dipping around, like. 
That and that, cool. yeah, that. Okay, so he he did not match fast enough. That, that, okay. Yeah. And he probably to make could sure. he probably could have survived. I have seen foxes mash out at around that percent. So if a fox could do it, then I should okay. be more ninja good. Okay. You kind of have to have crazy thingies though. Probably wasn't thingies. No. That's what I call them. I call them thingies. Thingies. And I believe next we're going to have Sinji versus Utopian Rain. This is actually a rematch from winners. Luzard's Sinji managed to beat him uh, on the winner side of things. So let's see if Utopian Rain manages to get the run back. All right. I believe we might actually have a commentator switch. No, no. Oh, never mind. Uh, you're stuck with us. Haha, <laughs> get wrecked. Okay. Never mind. Um, I actually missed these two sets in w the, like the set between these two in winners yeah. I was playing at the time, but oh, Hero King Anna just subbed. Yo, Wish shout out you to Hero were King here. Oh, videos, chatting up people. Yo, shout out to Hero King Anna if you ever, you've smashing. ever seen. He's the one who made Xeno 100, right? The video about Xeno 100. Yeah. Yep. No, he's the one who also yep. made the documentary about Frozen. Oh, nice. I believe. Nice, nice. Did he make one about Rafi, or is that one still in the works? I think that one's probably still in the works. I mean. There you go. But shout out to Hero King Anna. If you want to see the Xeno 100 video, go on House, House of 3000 on YouTube. You guys can go check that out. But anyways, we got Topian Ray versus Sinji. There's no time to play at. So. so so Utopian Ray won this one? No, Sinji won. Sinji, okay. Sinji won. Okay, Sinji won. Yeah. Winners. Okay. So right now, Sinji looking pretty good once again. And this is one of those things where, like, Pac-Man versus Rosa sounds like uh, just the worst thing you could possibly put yourself through as a human being. <laughs> but Sinji makes it work, like, pretty consistently. We've seen him uh, we've seen him take sets from the buzz. Earlier today, we saw him take out Utopian. So just because a matchup is bad doesn't mean anything to this man. Unless it's unless it's Bayo. Sounds like Bayo, and then he goes kind of. Then, uh, well, the thing, the problem with Bayo is that it's not so much the like the, the way the character plays in neutral. That what a bait. That was so. Good. I like that. That was so good. I like that. Like he was like he was like yo. I see you want to like catch this Hydra or this belt, but I, I don't care. You, so. Well, the thing is, like it was actually so smart because he caught him exactly when he dropped that uh, the down bait. Mm -hmm. And now, Sinji playing with a nice lead here. The question is whether he'll be able to get anything really off of it. Being pushed down to the ledge, and Utopian is someone who is so good at punishing people off the stage. Whoa. I like that. That was actually... I like that a lot. Oh, an attack! Yo, the tech. And Luma just died. <laughs> Luma, Luma just exploded. That was pretty great. And getting rid of Luma is actually really good for Sinji here because that means that Utopian's kill power on the whole is significantly nerfed. And now it's back. <laughs> it's called reactionary commentary. Ooh. He doesn't have Luma. Oh, wait. Luma's he has back. Luma. <laughs> Luma's back. Oh, fantastic good job, Luma. On the neutral getup. And that's actually really, really impressive because um, for those of you who don't know, Pac-Man actually has a very unique ledge getup, neutral getup, <laughs> where he it, like ends one frame earlier. And considering that there's only one form of vulnerability, and oh, Luma has oh, like- Oh, he tried to, try to, try to bet it all yeah. on that one. I was just gonna say, it's very impressive that Utopian Ray was able to punish neutral. Yes. Yeah, poor Luma, he's getting shocked. Oh, nice. Oh, he just exploded. I don't know, whenever Luma dies, like, I, I know a lot of people hate Luma, but it's so like, Sad, okay. Luma isn't cute until she does. Yeah, like it's so sad. It's like, mm. did you see that grab that Utopian yeah. just did? Out, that was I, quick. Out, it's definitely sick. Oof. Oh no. <gasps> oh no. Yeah, if you're. It, it can happen. It can happen. It can oh, happen. Yeah. Absolutely. 116% on Utopian Ray. That honestly just means that only one of these guys is at kill percent. I, I like the bait attempt from Sinji right there. He was kind of just like. Uh, oh, uh, that um, cherry sticking around. Okay. Oh, but yeah, no. Uh, Sinji has to be really careful. Putting himself gonna on use the Akuma's, ledge. Okay, he's gonna kill him with Akuma's fireball. What did I tell you? Really yeah. nice. Had Sinji. a feeling. Yeah. It was like my socks. Okay. That that the fact that the cherry stayed like that was like really really lucky for Sinji. 
I, I'm not going to call it lucky because, like, think of, like, he knows so much about this character. He knew that that was going to become, like, a lingering hitbox that the opponent would actually have to, like, play around. I didn't, I didn't even know Cherry did that. Like, like you, don't, you, you don't see Cherry or Strawberry a, a lot, so you definitely don't know what they do. I guess that makes sense. I mean, Cherry is basically just, its only real use is being, like, the fastest one. Yeah. Oh, but wait, actually, this is the second speak, time. Speaking of Cherry. Melon, Cherry, Strawberry, and uh, all have active hitboxes even after they hit someone else. Because what happened was that it bounced off of Luma and it just stayed there and it still had an active hitbox. Um, that's all that really happened there. And Apple. Does it become inactive if it hits a shield? Yes. So that's actually like matchup knowledge that yeah. Sinji is using there, where if he knows that it's going to connect on Luma, he can just appreciate it as an extra hitbox. It's only those four because Ooh. those are the only four that Go actually bounce off people's shields. Gotta watch shield, boy. Oh, Rutopian's taking so much. Whoa, he, like, he, you saw oh, how he like, landed? Wait, no, that you saw was... how he landed? <laughs> what, what was that? He, he was taking a hot minute to kind of like refresh himself. He was like, uh... I, did he like clip go. through the stage there? Is he dead? Uh, <laughs> okay. Um, Whenever uh, anything happens on that Smashville platform, I just... Yeah! Oh! Dang. Pr pl trampoline Chan coming in clutch. You notice actually, Sinji's doing a good job of abusing Pac-Man's frame date. Yes. Because it's something that people seriously underestimate. Like, yes, overall his kit doesn't really yeah, that go. come that come together that well, but you can't underestimate the fact that his forward air is like super fast, neutral air is frame great. Um, but in the end, DI'ing into that down throw, I believe, is how Utopia managed to get that up air. Forward air now is not fast enough for him. That should be. <gasps> I don't think he wanted to be uh, the bell. Oh no. Oh no. Wait, it is walking. What? No, it's just out oh, of yeah, range. It was just like that over here. <laughs> I was just joking around. Alright, Luma's now out of the picture. Wow! Oh, what a nice. snipe! Nice. Nice. That's like one of those things where I feel like he knew that Ro Ray was gonna roll. He's like, I know you're gonna roll here. Are you I know gonna you're do gonna this. roll here. I mean, you've been over this a lot of times. You're gonna do it. Ray's actually gotten like. Like, I feel like people are reading his defensive rolls at kill percent pretty well today. Yeah, even Milk I, had the read. Yeah, he had on. the read. He just blocked it. I was like, you had it? Well, I, I already know, like, like later on tonight, he's going to be like, I had that. Anyways, back to the match. Luma's out of here now. And Sinji still has the lead. 22% on his body. Isn't that significant? Uh, and he's looking to just do even more damage. Rosa on ledge. Honestly, Sinji, uh, sorry, Utopian Ray's disadvantage has been fantastic. Like, normally that's Rose's worst part. Pretty standard stuff right now. As of right now, at least. Pretty standard stuff. Whoa, oh, <laughs> never mind. You know, I was saying standard stuff what? earlier. Never, never okay. mind. Never Already mind. we've seen like two jank things happening. Is is Smashville just falling apart at the seams? I, I can't wait for I can't wait for Pac-Man to, to slide under like like he's mid he's mid screen on Smashville and he just slides under it. Oh, yeah, that isn't quite the jank we were expecting. But you know that downer will kill insanely early. And Sinji putting himself on ledge is essentially every time he does that he's running like the gambit. You know that there is a chance that if he's not careful he gets hit by that move and just dies at sixty. This was the... Oh yeah, this, the, the, the roll read into the apple. Did we happen to clip the uh, Pac-Man being in the middle of the friggin' squat? <laughs> I don't know how to describe he it. He was doing a squat, bro. I mean, look at his legs. He, probably yeah, he, yo, he definitely like never skips leg day. For sure. Pac-Man? His little pudgy hey, legs. He doesn't sp skip feet day, but he no. sure as stuff skips leg day. Look at those twigs. Yeah, I like that. The legs are for your feet, sees as well. No, he only works out his feet. How do you <laughs> work out your feet, you say? I don't know, ask Pac-Man. I don't know, you're just down here a lot. You just wear Tim's all the time. Just wear Tim's all the time. <laughs> Anyways, we got this on town. Uh, yeah, I kind of expected this, honestly. Because uh, uh, both players were just kind of, they, like, I feel like Sinji wants Smashville. So he was like, well, you didn't probably, probably ban Smashville or some sort of 
stage with platforms that's pretty. Well, open. I would think you would have actually banned FD because, like, possibly, you know, since actually, he loves yeah. FD, actually, and yeah. this is the closest thing to FD that he's gonna is, get. Yeah, so I assume that's what happens. I could be wrong, but at the very least, right now, wow, Toby he's and Ray, catching this thing, and he's Oof. like, Luma finally out of the picture here. Sinji, there's been a, over a minute on the clock and almost no progress in terms of like the stocks. So even though we're on Titan City, I would not be surprised if this ends up becoming a timeout game. Oh, that's <laughs> Strawberry coming in clutch. <laughs> Oh, so that's one thing you notice that uh, Sinji cannot use his side B like willy nilly off stage. Yeah. Because the so fact that down B sucks it up, all of a sudden he can very well have be forced to uh, recover uh, where he has to use three jumps, and at that point he's just dead. I definitely saw uh, 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 Ray do that earlier. I think it was like game one, I believe he tried to do yeah. that. I definitely saw him try to do that, but he's, he, you know, he ended up having the trampoline, so it was, he was pretty A okay after that. Yeah, honestly, you know, the beginning of this match was what a tech! Nice tech. Oh, <laughs> and avoiding a ledge trump as well. Um, you know, Ray really did turn up the heat in terms of that, like, there was a ton of damage done, and Sinji's still alive on his last legs, though. He has a lot of rage, but Pac-Man isn't a character that abuses rage. Uh, oh, oh, he got the late. He didn't tech it in time. That could be so hard, because you, how he, he's, you like, like, he's like, He's, like, idea. stuck in stasis, so, I mean, he's just, like... He's like, hey. That's like that's a like a like um like playing a Russian roulette, you know? You have your <laughs> finger on the trigger, you're waiting for something to happen, and then all of a sudden it goes pop. Sinji dropping that stock, but he is not letting that uh, get to him too much. Already 132% on Utopian. There are certainly ways that he could finish off a stock and even up this uh, even up this game. Let's see how high. Whoa, there. okay there. That was pretty serious. And Akuma's fireball. There has to be some pun with that. What? Like Akuma and the apple. There's got to be something in there. Is he dead? Okay, no, good. like, have you... Oh, wait, I'm, I'm going to assume you haven't seen Akuma's fireball. No, no, I'm saying a pun. Like, we can make a portmanteau or something. There has to be a future in it. Oh! He should be fine, though. Yeah, because he was forced to recover. Oh, that nice. meant that side B was once again a recovery option. Sinji is back to stage. 80% on him. But, uh... This is definitely going to be hard. Yeah. But... I feel with Pac-Man's tools and the way Sinji implements them really well. I feel like this is definitely doable for Sinji. Um, the only thing is that now that we're down to basically two minutes, an item. Uh, Never mind, Sinji yeah. can't take too long. You know, he wants to, you know, give himself breathing room, you know, get his projectiles going. But if every time he, you know, has to charge up proje a projectile, it eats away at 15 seconds of the clock. There might be that point where it's just like, ah, I got to go in guns a blazing. Kick Luma, yeah. Once again, look at Rumi, he's going nuts. He like freaks out whenever the whenever he's not near his mother and the hydrant's in the middle of it. It's great. <laughs> stranger it. danger. <laughs> look at this, stranger help. danger, I'm going nuts. <laughs> what is going on there? Oh, oh and there it is, yeah. Wow. Since you're giving the fist bump, Ray managing to get the run back, taking the set. He is now sitting uh, prepared to fight against <laughs> So I'm so much. scared, Mom. Please that's save like, me. That's like golden ICPU. Mom, please. That's like golden ICPU that's trying to get through the wall and like just so running into like, its Luma like, like odd job or something. Then? Is yeah. Luma like odd job? I, I, I kind of want to see Luma spaz out again. That, that had to be like my favorite part of this set. So my favorite part is when uh, Sinji just started doing squats on, on, on stage for no reason. <laughs> yeah, and Sinji was getting so many texts. I, 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 love, I love that so much. She was just freaking out. All right, I'm actually very curious. It's actually very interesting. I used to think that it was like terrible, one of Yoshi's worst, but he actually has tools. The thing about it is whether he's going to get to use those tools against Utopian Ray. Down air, ooh, down air against Rosa is actually kind of busted because first of all, it two Luma full, too, right? two full down airs. If you like, if Rosa and Luma are together, two full down airs will kill Luma outright okay. because that's 64 damage. That's great. Um, in addition to that, if Rosa is shielding, she will actually um, just it will shield poke every time. And if her shield is whittled down even a little bit, uh, <laughs> uh, you're like over here talking about this matchup and like you know it's not that bad. Meanwhile, this poor red dinosaur is getting flipped. 
So what I will say actually is that oh, I, look, I played you. you. So I, I played Utopian Ray um, last night actually at UD, and one thing that I noticed, I was playing the set in the middle of it. I was just like, you know, I feel like I haven't been back to neutral in quite some time <laughs> because Yoshi. It's one of those things where, oh, like, the punish game has been slowly getting maximized. And for Rosa, that doesn't, necessar doesn't necessarily mean footstool combos. It's just a matter of, like, really understanding how to abuse Yoshi when he's, you know, in the air, uh, off the stage. And Raptor getting a little bit of momentum back in his corner. The reason why is basically because he, when he lost that stock, he got to go back to neutral. Uh, yes. Nice. nice. Good roll read. All right, here we go. We got Raptor back in the game. Utopian Ray shaking his head a little bit, but he has the lead. And there is, based on the way that he was playing that first stock, no reason that he can't absolutely uh, take this game here. One thing I will say about Utopian um, in this matchup, his down tilts to Gimp Yoshi are brutal. Ah, oh, it's like that. Yo Yoshi's not, he's not able to be in the air. Poor on the ground. <sighs> poor, poor Joshi. Look, he's Jokey. dead. Look, look, Yolki's dead. Damn. Isn't that an Italian dish? Yo no, Yolki. It's, 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 Yolki. It's, it's Yolki. It's gnocchi. Yolki. It's like little potatoes. It's like, it's like pasta potatoes. You're not supposed to deep fry those. Damn. Because they explode. Damn, you want to go to bed, bro? Anyway. Dude, I have to go back to the Westchester after this, and also I have no car at the station, so I'm gonna walk back, which is an hour walk. Nice. Basically. I know. I love it. It's it's a beautiful night out, unless it starts raining. I'm fine with that. See, it's worth it. In, in, in before it rains. Guys, sub to house. Yeah, sub to house. Uh, speaking <laughs> of speaking of subbing to house, uh, damn. Uh, yo yo yo. Uh, there's a transition here somewhere. I can't. I can't. I can't, I can't. Speaking of subs, it looks like Raptor has to probably pull out his sub character if he wins speaking this of, one. Speaking of subs, <laughs> Raptor's getting the foot. Speaking right of now. sub, that Luma definitely is a great sub. Damn, speaking I'm, of I'm subs, hungry. there's a subway around the corner. I'm hungry. Please, I, 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 I hate Luma so much. God damn it. Anyway, uh, I hate Luma so much. Guys. Let's just have a natural segue okay, where I'm just like, let's get back to the match because this is dead even, far more even than game <laughs> one. It's just like, like Luma is just like, no, stop hurting my mother. One thing is that Raptor is recovering really cleanly. He is he's taking a lot of damage when he's in the air and on the ledge, but he hasn't like oh, had any. Oh no! I had to say something. Yoshi, okay. no! He just kind of flutters away. Uh, <laughs> man, I am. I'm, <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. Like I'm telling you. Well, see, you didn't say anything there. That's why I got to kill him. Yeah, no, my commentator. I normally pride myself in being. Uh, not the worst commentator cursor, but tonight is just not my stuff because any time that I'm talking about well, everyone's it, everyone's tired today. Yeah, that, that, that's probably what it well, is. Well, no, what it actually is is that like Utopian Ray is holding on. He's to that. mixing the shit. Out of no, no, it's it's like actually like he's holding on to these options. He's seeing Raptor pick a certain, trying to do things a certain way. He has no jump. Oh, oh no, like, Yoshi, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Yoshi. Oh, it doesn't matter. He's just like. All right. Yeah. Honestly, if you eat that much damage, it's fine. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> you came back to the ground in the end. Is it? <laughs> That's all you can ask for. Imagine like at like 190. And you're like you find you find it landed versus Rosa. And it's like it's fine. You didn't die. That was oh, a really no, good roll from time. Uh, Utopian Ray, by the way. Uh, oh, now it's an even game. Yeah, Raptor going for a lot of these dash grabs, and they are certainly good at conditioning your opponent not to shield. And at this point, it's still okay to go for them. But yeah, if he goes for a dash grab and whips next time around, that's pretty much it for him. Utopian Ray trying to get this edge guard set up. Goes for that back air, but Ooh, this time it's that not was connecting. Scary. Man, this platform is paying dividends for Raptor right now. But. He still has not really managed to find a hit. He's like getting nickeled and dime, so he's not dying, but you know, he needs to finally turn the tables, which um, he doesn't get the chance to do. Unfortunate for Raptor, but comes out on a clean third place. Uh, good stuff to Raptor. Can you believe that hat gets him super strength? Yeah, yo, I'm telling you, he's gonna go back to his job as the newspaper guy. He's yeah. done. He has to lift like two pallets of newspaper paper every Thanks. day. Extra, extra, read all about Just it. Just got third place in Mizino tournament. <laughs> Mizino? In Mizino. Mizino. It's Mizino. Hello, hello Governor. <laughs> We're like actually going to end in like 30 minutes. 
Okay, Everyone's just like a little bit. rushing to like finish this minutes. tournament. Like, I, I respect that, it. Wouldn't that be like around? This is this is grand finals right now. We are at the end of it all. Venia is sitting on the winner side of things. Oh! oh I thought some real stuff was okay. Oh my god! <laughs> He's just like, I need out of here now. I need an adult. <laughs> oh no! We're just a fully evolved Coco. Yeah, he is fully evolved. Oh, nice Trump Damn, there. This is, this is so scary to be around. This Rosa can just, like, erase you. Well, managing to take Luma out of the picture there. And now Venia with a little bit of a... Oof! That was a really good shadow sneak. Toby and Ray getting a little bit too button pushy at the ledge, which is something he normally do does because, you know, Rosa has great hitboxes, but being able to teleport behind her, that's some DPC yeah, stuff. Yeah, Luma has great hitboxes. And that's not Rosa, it's Luma. Yeah, I mean, it is relevant because Luma has good hitboxes. Better than Greninja's for sure. Yeah, better than Greninja's. Greninja doesn't have bad hitboxes, but they're certainly awkward. Oh, no. Ooh, I hate this game. Anyways, that was actually like, if you notice the way that Venia placed that back air, it was specifically to push Utopian Ray during the multi hits into the stage so that he would have the untackable no chance Vertex of coming on back the from stages. That. Let's go. But uh, Utopian Ray still not out of this. All Especially not that now we have the FD variant. It's going to be even harder for Venia to land. And he is. Oh, Ooh, good almost. Wow, that was a really no good jump. trajectory. No jump. He's dead. Look no. at that. Utopian Ray evening it up really quickly. Utopian's Ray overall punish game has gone so good. It's See, like, I, I don't even know how this man does it. Like a character like Greninja, he should not be juggled the way he's being juggled. Ooh, what a forward spin. You know, I feel like Greninja's uh, shurikens are really good against Rosa because it's not like she can just downbeat him so easily. There goes Luma is dead. Also, yes, I agree. Well, because like, you know, they're so fast and Greninja has the run speed that I'm sure that if like miss spaced even barely. Oh, uh, that, was, that was that was probably yeah, another one of those moments for sure. Benny has been getting past Luma pretty reliably though. The tongue. <laughs> Lick him. Oh, okay. I'm gonna okay, he most likely lost his jump. Utopian Ray giving a shake to the head. He definitely could have made it back from that. Just the angle wasn't right. The timing wasn't there. Yeah, he yeah, lost, he his, lost jump. his jump. Yeah. He probably didn't notice it until it was too late, but definitely lost his jump there. And Smash 5, I hope they give you some type of indication of when you have your jump. In this game, I feel like it does an okay job with like the little pawn thing. I feel like that. I feel like that's okay. Uh, if you want to be nicer to beginners, A, and B, just in those sorts of situations. I mean, it'll also help out with like, in terms of, like it'll actually help out with people's punish game. Because if you see that your opponent burned their jump, then he can be like, oh. I, I would like some like sort guessing. of. Okay, so I would I would like some sort of indication. M m maybe you can put like an X on the character, or like or a like little model or something. Flashing. Sort of like flash or like, kind of like how they do rage. But yeah. Like, like, but do like that, that to like them losing double jump, you know what I mean? Man, Venia, every time he starts the match, he's like, he's a, he's, a, he's already sent Rosa in the sky, and like, it's really scary. It's like, Rosa can literally die, like, right now. Yeah. But, thankfully, Rosa hasn't been dying. Oh, that up tilt. The up tilt. They've been doing that so much. People have, people have been air dodging this man's face so much today. <gasps> that should be it. Oh. He missed the up tilt. He, he missed, like, the water hitting her back to the left. Yeah. Uh, Luma not quite out of here just yet. Oh, now he's gonna hit? Oh, no, he's not. Nice aggressive way to get back to Benny stage. Is really aggressive right now. I like it. He's one He's one game away from just taking this whole tournament. He does, want, he does not want to have to deal with any kind of reset. So he's playing his heart out. Oh, he tried, he tried, he tried to down to Luma there. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's so scary. <laughs> Ray's air dodges are on oh, point, nice. but and Gren and Venia is at tournament point. He's at and tournament the, stock. I mean, my bad. Yeah, and the way that he's playing right now, this is looking mighty rough for you. Looking very, very rough for you. Oh, like that's big. Oh, wow, what a shield, but just getting stuck in there a little bit too long. Venia now at 103% and on the oh. ledge. <laughs> okay. 
what a mix up. Oh no, <laughs> Luma, please. Okay, forward air connecting. Now all of a sudden the damage is racking up. Oh, Luma almost got sent to the stretcher. <laughs> Imagine if that was like possible. I mean, I think if Rosa does nothing, does she get pulled away? Probably, most likely. Yeah. All right, yeah, Luma's oh. out of here. Fantastic. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Nice side B. Oh, look at the way that Venia is moving. Utopian Ray is stuck in shield. He's basically having to just, he's, he's had his position locked down. And that means that Venia can just run all around him. He has all of the momentum at this exact moment, whoa. but that might not be enough. No, he actually gets enough. back. Oh no, we're at the situation where we're like, okay, he's out of it. Oof, well he's not out of the woods just yet. Off stage without a jump oh, again. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, no tech! That was not the, untackable, I think. It was but it was it was the vertex of Smashville, I think. Maybe. It no no no, of been. Town and City, my bad. Vertex of well, Town and City. I do know that these stages have untackable little things in them. Yeah. Regardless, tonight actually running a uh, tight ship as we end things. Uh, before 10.30. Before 10.30, yeah. It this already? was not a small bracket, yeah. just that, that, nobody that, wanted wait, to button check. You know that, what it was? That set took like five minutes. Yeah. You know what it was? There was no Dill. That's the thing I was about to say. <laughs> there was there no, was no bracket Dill. There was, there was <laughs> no, no Dill. Bracket so rigging. that means that there were, uh, were no Diddy timeouts. There were no four-minute button checks. There were several checks. timeouts. There was, there was no there, Diddy there timeouts. Was one. Wait, what's the difference between a Diddy timeout and like a regular here? Dill's involved. Um, and... <laughs> 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 but the main thing is that there weren't like four Spoilers, minute button Jill's checks on watching. Midgar. Now he knows who his enemies are. Shout outs to Dill. Shout outs to Dill. There we go. <laughs> the everything is even now. Uh, I guess we're so let's. Uh, I think that we're about to wrap things up here. I don't. Do we want to do an interview or no? Uh, that's up to you guys. I guess if you want to do, 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 do it, do you want to do it? Do you want to do an interview? Do you want to do it? Let's find out. Let's find out first if. Let's see if he wants to do it. Find out first if any actually wants to do an interview. So I'll be right back. Uh, you guys do some ads. In please. the meantime, yeah, we'll run I think some it's ads finally for you guys. time we can do some ads. Yeah, no, we've been like running so so quickly, and you want to talk about this? Because I'm excited Smash about Sound. this. This is the Beatbox and Smash Bros. Man, uh, it's run. It's our, It's two GGs, feet in the water when it comes to New York majors. This is the, no. This is the Smash community's feet in the water in terms of NYC majors. I don't think there's ever in the existence of this game been. A major in New York City. If you want to count. It's not in the city. Nah, yeah, it's in Westchester. Yeah. You're right. Uh, do you want to do the interview? It's up to you. What do you want to do? I think you could take it. All right. Sure. It has been a pleasure commentating it's for you. Follow me at saltyfun underscore SSB. Follow at Reno at Reno FGC. FGC. Uh, Come out to Encore. Come out to UD. Encore's tomorrow. Be sure to come out. Yeah, there. yeah. If, if you want to get a ride up there, uh, shoot me a DM on Twitter or on Facebook if you're friends with me, or just scream really loudly because uh, I am providing rides. Anyway, thank you so much. It has been all types of real.